Chaos Dragons, baby. I'm not talking no Thunder Chaos. I'm talking pure Chaos Dragons. Light Pulsar Dragon, all that. The same amazing goodness from five, six, seven years ago. I'm going to be showing you guys right now my Chaos Dragon deck profile with replays. Thank you uh, to the guy who donated for it. Uh, we're doing this live on stream right now. So if you guys want to bring any deck of your request, I do take $20 deck requests. Let me know in the comments below. Let's get started on the video. Also, before we get started, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to show your boys some love, like, comment, and let's get straight into it. So we're going to be facing Salads, all right? So three games in a row, Salaman Great versus Chaos Dragons. Now, we, it is a go second build. It is a go second build. Going first, you could go Arc Brave, Goliath, all that. But it is a go second build. We play Denko's, Phantasmae, Psycho's Light to make sure we draw into Denko every turn. Because Denko is honestly a, such a great blow card this format for every single deck except for Thunders. So why not? So here we, we, he only sets one, which means he does have a lot of hand traps in hand. So we only get rid of the one back row with Denko, which honestly doesn't even uh, affect it because we might as well just go ahead and Nightmare Phoenix anyway. So uh, we discard uh, the baby Chaos Dragon there. We do, You guys do see Light Pulsar there. Yes, it is 2011. Uh, Light Pulsar Dragon is a very underrated card. Uh, really, really helping the Eclipse Wyverns get their effect to bring 11 year because 11 year is busted. Uh, so we're going to show you guys right now. We just keep going. We're going to go through the motion here. This deck really blitzkrieg through back row. Uh, real Chaos Dragons here, man. We play Danger to get everything in the grave. We go Phoenix, brings up Phantasma. We want to discard the card to get a free draw. It was Sanctum. We got cocked there. Good thing we had a deck low, but it was only one back row. No. Uh, the Wyvern's going to... Uh, the Wyvern... Gets Wyvern so broken. They can play triple Wyvern, triple 11 year. And Light Pulse has to trigger the Wyvern. But we really, 11 year is just absolutely busted. And in this Chaos deck, we really just want to utilize 11 year to the best of our abilities. Because it, it, it just absolutely busted. It is not even a hard one's return. It, it's absolutely crazy. Uh, so over here, we uh, are going to go Nessie. Uh, we, yeah, we, we reveal Nessie. Uh, he hits Nessie, unfortunately. Then we reveal Jackalope, and he hits Jackalope. The American Sniper over here. Uh, it's all good. We summon a card out. Bigfoot's also really good in this deck. Another reason why I play Danger is two reasons. Uh, great synergy. You get your lights and darks to the grave as you need. They're darks in itself. And it gives you a level 8 Bigfoot in what brings you the most broken card in this deck, which is uh, Dark Matter Dragon. Uh, absolutely broken. We actually activate the effect. Pop cards in the field does not target. Insane. Uh, since it doesn't target, uh, make make sure he uses Bay Links. I guess Red Phantasma doesn't target. And we go into Dark Matter, which really is the best card in this deck. Uh, he ogres it because he's scared to get otk from it. And, uh, yeah, absolutely amazing, man. I was going to say, just go for the OTK here. You send Distrudo, you send Wyvern, you send Levineer, you send whatever you need. Send Red MD. Uh, we didn't realize that uh, Pulsar was a when effect, so we, we take that back. We do a few take backs in this duel. Simply because we are testing here. We do three games in a row with Salad. So I'm going to show you guys all three of them. So uh, we do a little take back here. But it's all good. We summon up Pulsar again. But you, can, you can summon these cards as many times as you want per turn. Uh, OG uh, Chaos Dragons. We bring 11 here as well. And go for a game. Uh, it, it's really easy to OTK. I'm going to show you guys another duel here. Uh, Doing against my boy Kill Switch. Who usually, hey, he does get the best of me. I can't lie. But he definitely does not here. Chaos Dragons are amazing. This isn't even just a... Uh, like, we don't even play Light Pulsar just because it's a Chaos Dragon. We play it because it's actually really, really good in the deck. Uh, you want to be able to, you get, uh, you go into Summon Circle a lot in the deck as well. And you really just want to, you get Eclipse Wyvern every turn. It's not Hard Rose per turn either. We get Sanctum. Uh, we get cocked there, unfortunately. Our hand was beautiful, but uh, we're going to have to wait for the next turn. Uh, he's going to try and Fusion Fire OTK. He tries to bait us here. He's going to stall. He'll try and bait uh, us to use a Phantasmic Effect. Uh, but, uh, so you could use a. Uh, the link three, but we we're like, nah, we're gonna let Salio resolve. We summon it on defense, put some cards back. Our hand's even more broken than it was before. Now it's like we had light pulsar. Uh, honestly, our hands like as broken as it could possibly be. So we don't get to keep through sanctum because uh look, the decks you're facing is solid boys, sky striker. These shit decks can't OTK you. So all you do is you wait one turn through sanctum. That's how you play through sanctum. Whether it be whether it be chaos dragon, whether it be pendulum, it doesn't matter. Uh, summon out literally everything. Like, we can play through anything we want at this point. Look at our hands. We're going to literally, for fun, nightmare away everything. We're going to hit everything. And, uh, literally just hit everything one by one for fun, too. Pop cards, 11 year here. Get another 11 year. We literally have five cards in hand. A unicorn gets something else. We can't read. Don't realize 11 year can't attack turn activate that effect. So, 
We're like, yo, we don't even summon the dark guy. My bad. We go. We're gonna take that back and go into dark matter instead. <laughs> and, uh, just, uh, just win. It's a fun, friendly duel. Me versus Killswitch. Killswitch is my boy. He is my training partner, testing partner. We do tests all the time. Shout out Santiago. And uh, here, yeah, man, we're, he go, makes us go first because we're not meaning uh, Goliath. Uh, Goli if you go first, the play will be Goliath. Uh, get rid of some cards of here and call it a day. Set up next turn with Soyuzhas. Uh, but it's a go second deck to OTK them. So all you want to do here is really just set up as much as you can. The Agar Pain is going to give you a negate. So you could typically just go uh, Arc Brave, uh, bring a Goliath with a negate and like a discard one card. But uh, we do intend to go second with this deck because you OTK so easily. So here we're going to do a little proxy because I forgot to put uh, the old, uh, the Crystal Wing in the deck for Agar Pain. So we're going to go to Agar Pain here. Uh, we're going to leave uh, uh, everything we can on the field because Salamangres can't OTK. So we're going to end up with five cards in the field. And Thanos Dragon is a dragon. So you could summon it with uh, uh, Guard Dragons. This is a Crystal Wing. The token is a Crystal Wing. Uh, we're playing with a friend. Doesn't token. Uh, we could do whatever proxy we want. Uh, he... We couldn't negate the Gazelle effect because he stops it. Uh, he chain blocks with Foul. Foul is really card, a good card for that. We want to avoid the OTK here. So he does set uh, with Falco. He does set the Fusion of Fire. But with Phantasme and Crystal Wing, we can uh, negate. Uh, he's going to have Stalio to bounce card back. And he's going to have this Link 3 to bring the attack down. So we're just going to... All our game plan is here just not to die. Because if we don't die, our hand's busted to OTK him. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to negate uh, Stalio's bounce. And we're going to... Uh, with Phantasme... Uh, we're gonna negate, negate a heat Leo effect with uh, Crystal Wing, so we're not gonna get OTK at this point. So we're fine. He should have linked away uh, Agar Pain, I believe, but he didn't. And then he realized that he lost because we had the Strudel and Danko in hand and the Chaos, Mini Chaos Dragon. So that's three games in a row that we beat Solid Boys. Solid Boys, overrated deck. Uh, Chaos Dragons might just be the new wave. This deck's actually really, really good. Uh, okay, this uh, time out, we're gonna show you guys the deck profile. Now, it works so incredibly, man. Again, shout out uh, for. A uh, guy who donated for uh, this deck. Uh, it works out so good, man. It actually works out so, so, so good. I'll show you guys the deck now. This is a super quantum deck. If you guys haven't seen already, the, the, that was also a really, really good deck. Uh, we've been building some pretty broken decks on here, man. Like, and they're under the radar decks that no one's seen. Like, they could easily win any deck any, against any meta deck easily. Uh, so over here we got the deck profile over here. Red, Red MD, obviously the best card in the deck with the guard dragons. Triple of each mini dragon. Even of the dark one, simply because you play triple light pulse or one, you play lots of lights and you always go into them. Summon is going to bring them out. Danko is also a light. You have 11 lights in total, uh, which is more than enough. Especially because you're a Psychos light, you got Phantasme. You're drawing six cards instead of five. You're always going to be seeing these light cards and you're uh, going to set your every turn. Like, like, it's just so, so, so good, man. Uh, you need to see one of these. The baby dragons get the guard dragon plays going and they get you so many free pluses that they're absolutely amazing. Triple Light Pulse. Sorry, no one plays this. Let me explain this card. This card's been good in 2011. Okay, let me explain what it does. Special Summon from your hand by banishing a light or dark from your uh, and dark from your grave. Triggering Eclipse Wyvern, which is the main reason you play it. You're not always going to have these to trigger Eclipse Wyvern. You want to, It is a Chaos deck. You want to make sure you resolve it as quick as possible. And since you're going second, if your opponent puts up a uh, high attack monster, let's say you're facing Thunder, uh, you're going to have some high attack monsters on board, you're facing Pendulum, whatever it may be, you could crash your pulse star, bring up red MD. Unfortunately, uh, it does miss timing when you link, which is so unfortunate because you could loop uh, red MD and light pulse star forever. But uh, so, and that's super unfortunate. But every time it dies, it specials a level five or higher dragon, uh, and also it helps with Levenir as well. And it has great synergy with the deck. Uh, I really, really enjoy this card is really really good Levin here best card in the deck by far all the, the chaos cards are the best uh, cards in the deck triple wyvern these 16 cards is what really breaks the deck and these 15 mainly uh you would go through every single turn and the red md you bring with the guard dragons which are really from these but these 16 are just amazing wyvern could banish red md or Levin here and they're both just absolutely amazing and you want to ensure that wyvern always resolves that's why you also play light pulsar you want to play as many dangers as you can to bring all these cards to the graveyard uh, we also play Double Bigfoot because Dark Matter is the best extra deck card. And it's almost an auto win when you resolve Dark Matter. Because you're going second. So Dark Matter is going to hit 8,000 damage by itself. As well as uh, send you Destrudo to the graveyard. Uh, send you Eclipse Wyvern to the graveyard. And send you whatever else you need. Uh, whether it be like Pulsar or Eleven or whatever it may be. And Pulsar can also special that soul from hand by... Uh, by this ascending a light and a dark from your hand to the grave as well. So you also summon it from the graveyard as well as from the hand. 
So it, it just the, the the synergy is amazing with this deck. I was thinking about throwing Dark Flare in here, but Dark Flare you were just never going to. And you prefer more lights in the deck because dangers are all dark. You do play the, all the free summons, 3 Nessie, 3 Jack, 3 Sukunoko, but you mainly play the dangers as well as for Bigfoot because a Nessie, Jackalope, and Bigfoot are eight ways to go into Bigfoot, and there's a free level eight on board to go into Dark Matter. Uh, so synergy works great, and you want to flood your graveyard, obviously, to trigger your Chaos cards. Uh, triple the Strudo, Mare Mare, Mare Mare deck, you play Phantasmia, Seconds Light, and you go into Sayusha multiple times in the turn, so you put back the Mare Mare if you draw it. You're going second, because going first, the deck only puts up, like, a one negate, and, uh, it'll put up one negate, and, uh, if you want to go to, uh, to do the Goliath combo. So, obviously, this isn't a real side deck, but if you're going first, uh, going, uh, first, you go Goliath and Arc Brave, and, uh, so Goliath and Arc Brave, and then you'll make Lavinier discard a card in their hand. You'll go Bigfoot, and you'll go Dark Matter. So you're going to put them to five cards, uh, and you're going to uh, put up a Negate with Agar Pain and uh, Arc Brave bring out uh, Goliath. You're going to have a stack board, a bunch of dragons. But uh, at the end of the day, I figured that wasn't enough because thunder, Thunders could do that, plus like Double Colossus and Zombie Stein. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go second OTK boards. This, this deck just Blitzkrieg Super boards, so why not? And you also get to trigger a lot of their effects. Going, so You get to actually, like possibly pop a light pulse. So 11, you're going through 11 years so many times in the turn. Uh, absolutely amazing. I thought about playing Melody, but Seconds Light is that much better. And going second, you get the result of Tasmi as well. And uh, just so, so, so good. You get to play power cards like Denko. We don't play Sky Blaster because you play six uh, draw two cards. Uh, you have, uh, Seconds Light to draw three card, honestly. And you have, sec you have so many ways to get Denko. Uh, 11 draw upstarts. You get Saryuja's. So many ways to get Denko. Like, you, you only want to normal summon the Denko. So we, we literally just save our normal summon for the Denko. And uh, uh, Wyvern, we play three. Most play one. But you always go second in this deck. So you're going to resolve both Nightmares in the turn. So you want to see... I can play six Wyverns if I can. It's not a hard one for turn, which is... Uh, I can't even fathom how good that is. You, you simply discarded his cost and still get his effect. Absolutely amazing card. I'll play six at Wyvern, uh, Eclipse Wyverns if I can. Uh, which gets you the best cards of the deck, which are Eleven Year and Red MD. Also, while you play Pulsar, more ways to banish the Wyvern. You just simply need to play as many as you can. So you have uh, six ways to banish the Wyvern, Eleven Year as well. So nine ways. Uh, you need to play Wyvern. Uh, no questions asked. Three. Uh, and this is the Chaos Dragon deck. Uh, the side, the cards you might play, Melody, if you want to play Power Spells and take out Seconds Light, so you can play other cards like Foolish, Reborn, whatever it may be. Uh, another target for Melody is Chaos Emperor, which is really good in the deck. Uh, uh, if you had money, uh, money to spend... I will play triple Chaos Emperor Dragon, no doubt about it, especially because you're going second, and you're almost always going to resolve its uh, free draw add effect. So, if, uh, if money was no issue, again, these are what? Like, the prize cards, $1,000. So, you don't want to add it, but if money was not an issue, I'd be thinking of Seconds Light and putting in triple Chaos Emperor and triple Melody, because uh, Levenir and Emperor are just so, so, so good. Uh, so, if money was literally not an issue, I'll play, I'll play that. If you're playing on Dueling Book, I'll put Triple Melody, Triple Mel uh, Chaos Emperor, and I'll throw some Power Spells instead. And maybe you can even go first if you really want to. Uh, Dark Pulse is an option. We want to throw Thunders in here. The the guy who did donate wanted no Thunders, so I said, say no more, no problem. Uh, in terms of other normal summons, I'll put Armageddon and Triple Sky Blaster, but there's just no reason for it. Because uh, you want to always ensure you normal Denko. Too many times you have uh, Denko and Sky Blaster, I just didn't like it. I want to put the whole hand on board all the time going second. And we're drawing six... Uh, uh, instead of five, Phantasm makes like a slight upstart, so dangerous. You're gonna always draw Denko. So you, like, the more often than more often than not, uh, you're gonna draw like fifty percent chance of drawing a Denko. Uh, even more like seventy percent chance with a draw card. So uh, I would just take that chance and not normal. So and normal it was something else if I really needed to. Uh, Black Metal Dragon was an option. Uh, you can play Pisty as well with it and play if you want to go first and play two uh, of the Red Eyes Trap to get two free interruptions. So but uh, you don't want to go first. So it's like basically you play these two. And the red eyes uh, trap card, you end up getting uh, two free two free interruptions from it, but there's no reason to. We prefer to go second OTK. Mothman was an option. We didn't feel like playing it. Flare was an option. Pisty was an option. The third side, usually curious. We just simply didn't go into them enough. And a third Bigfoot, I was going to this card as many times as possible. Double side, usually Rubber Dog, Summon Sword. You go into these every single turn. LP, Argar Pain, every single turn. Both Nightmares every turn, Unicorn every turn, all these you go to every turn. Boral Sword for the OTK. You don't need it for OTK, you already have a crazy attack, but it just helps even more. Link Karibo, because you're going to go Yazi and Crystal Crystal Wings, the card we opted to go into to stop hand traps as well if you need to with Agar Pain. Obviously, there would have hand traps something else, but I just figure this is better for me than Hot, hot Red. Uh, Sight for Dragon and Galaxy Eyes. The deck is honestly so, so, so good. We did it out of a Patreon, uh, pay, sorry, PayPal request, but I can legitimately see this doing damage. Uh, like, 
the best deck right now in the meta is Thunders with the Chaos anyways. But the Thunders, uh, I find this breaks less. Like, you take out the Thunders, the deck just never breaks. It's so pure and consistent. I love it. If you guys like the video, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. And if you guys want me to break any deck that you guys love, do just let me know in the comments or on Facebook or email me. It doesn't matter what it may be. At PayPal, $20, I'll break any deck of your guys' choice. Hope you like this video. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.